examining the events that impact and shape China and the rest of the world. This is the Beijing Hour, one hour of news and information brought to you every weekday by China Radio International. Paul James with you on this Thursday morning, still to come here on the Beijing Hour. Special reports with Spring Festival fast approaching. We'll tap into what the holiday means for this country's so-called left-behind children. Sports, despite some hard-fought sets, both Li Na and Zheng Jia through to the third round at the Australian Open. Entertainment, the life of Marco Polo in ancient China going to be the subject of a new Netflix series. First, the headline news. Donor countries at an international aid conference in Kuwait have pledged over 2.4 billion U.S. dollars to help... The emergency broadcast... We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the comms prepper with a video about shortwave radios and how you can use them to receive international broadcast stations in the event your local radio or TV stations go off the air from some kind of emergency or natural disaster. Uh, the radio here that I'm showing on the screen I purchased uh, last weekend for less than $30 and it's a basic shortwave radio and I put a quarter on there to give you some perspective and size and it picks up the most common shortwave radio bands for the commercial international broadcast stations. Here we have the US Amateur Radio band chart to give you an idea of what frequencies these radios are operating in. So I'm going to use this chart as a reference and to give you some more perspective. Here I'm showing you where the citizen band or CB radios lie between the 12 meter and 10 meter band of the amateur radio service. And to the right up top, you can see where the MERS or multiple user radio service lies, just a little bit higher in frequency than the 2 meter amateur radio band. And below that, you can see where the FRS and GMRS radio services lie, again, just a little bit higher than the 70 centimeter amateur radio band. Well, for the shortwave broadcast stations, they lie between the other HF or shortwave amateur radio bands. So these yellow arrows are pointing in between the amateur radio bands where you can do two-way communications, but with a shortwave radio you can actually pick up international broadcast stations taking advantage of HF propagation or skip to transmit their signals around the world day or night. This is a pretty neat capability to have in an emergency because your local FM or AM radio stations could go off the air and you're looking for some news and information about what's going on say around the world or in your own country well with a cheap shortwave radio you can turn that on it's battery power like any other radio and tune in some of these shortwave international stations here I'm showing you the dial of the radio that I just purchased the first band I'm showing here with the highlighted column on the left is your typical FM radio band this is your car car stereo uh, next to that is the AM band or the radio in your grandfather's car for AM radio and on this next slide, you can see the different shortwave radio bands highlighted across the bottom. So those of you familiar with amateur radio know about the 80 meter band and the 40 meter band. Well, in between there, you can see there's a 75 meter band, the 60 meter band, the 49 meter band. And these are the shortwave broadcast band. Find BBC and Voice of America and China Radio, where international broadcasters and governments run news and entertainment radio stations that are shortwave meant to be transmitted around the world. Because shortwave radio takes advantage of HF propagation and radio skip, these shortwave broadcast stations will operate on different frequencies at different times of day. So I'm highlighting the different columns. Here I have the 75 megahertz column highlighted and as the time of day changes and propagation changes, those radio operators or radio station operators will actually change their transmit frequencies or transmit locations or stations so they're operating on different frequencies so they can broadcast at different times of the day so here I have the 41 meter band highlighted BBC will move up to the 25 meter band and with this specific radio on this slide I'm showing here I'm highlighting the 16 meter band and this radio is a mechanical radio so as I rotate a knob it selects the band and you can see how that's done with that little red window there it's a plastic slide behind that and as you rotate the knob that red slide moves down and shows you which bands you've selected on this radio and we'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see that another thing you might want to consider when getting one of these radios is to have an external antenna jack and a headphone jack a shortwave radio 
can be kind of scratchy and hard to hear so you can put a set of headphones on and that can help you tune in a distant station and the telescopic antennas that come with these radios don't match the frequencies that these stations are operating on so if you put a external shortwave antenna up you can improve the radio's performance and get more stations and get them more clearly this is just a short video to show you the possibilities of buying a cheap shortwave radio now this specific model radio does not cover the amateur radio bands I did order another radio that will and when that comes in I'll do a separate video on that radio how to set up that radio and actually listen to shortwave stations and listen to amateur radio shortwave stations or amateur radio bands and you can get more with that radio and that radio I think was about hundred and ten dollars so when that one comes in I'll do another video showing how you can do both shortwave and amateur radio receiving with a little portable radio like this but for now I just wanted to introduce you to the concept of shortwave radios they're fairly cheap a good thing to have in your bug out bag if you're looking for news and information you know if something happens in your area or in your region and there's no local broadcast stations on the air there's always international broadcast stations where you can get the information you need and keep up to date with current news and events. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a brief introductory video on shortwave radios. Which is strongly against corruption. We launched a national corruption campaign uh, two years back.